Captain Marvel, the next film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is under fire from people now and is dropping radically on their people to guess how much they're gonna pay, people are going to go see it. And uh, according to the news, it's dropped 80% since uh, what they originally thought it was going to make opening weekend. I was never going to go see it in theaters because I didn't see Infinity War. Why would I see this one? I didn't see... Uh, I didn't see a lot of them, actually. But, beside the point. The uh, Now, I was originally against the criticism for this film just for just because they were all saying about, how the, uh, about the trailers, how bad they were. And to me, it looks the same as the other Marvel films besides the uh, two comedy, the three comedy ones, uh, The Guardians and the uh, Ragnarok. Dressed, but it looked exact, the trailers were the exact same quality as the other ones. But the most current one, yeah, Bree's voice makes my voice sound great. A race of noble warriors. Heroes, noble warrior heroes. Get this supposed to be a joke and everything, but her voice. I mean, it gets worse in the clip I saw of other people talking about this movie. Gotta try to find it in the actual trailer. Here we go. You were reborn. I keep having these memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. I mean. This particular one still gives that same vibe as the other Marvel films, trailers, you know, waste of time, comic book movie, bad guy dies, good guy survives, something happened on page in H5, you know, you know the drill if you watch my other content, but her voice, it's from my past, it doesn't kill us all, it's like, God you think they would've got someone that could talk, at least. At least you know, I'd make a better woman voice than that. It's like... It's from my past. It's from my past. And... That's the key to this everything. I mean, come on. But this isn't the only problem that's facing these film. And you'll notice I gave it a thumbs down because, like, you know, the voice... I didn't get the other ones because I actually haven't watched the other ones, really. Because you know, I, I honestly don't give a sh too too many too many shites about the Marvel stuff. But you know, everybody else is making videos about it, and I got nothing better to do with my life. And I need a video for Sunday. It's like holy shit! It was just there. Oh, it ain't there now. Kitty. But yeah, apparently the cat's the uh, thing people are walking out of the test screening saying they like, so they don't actually like Bree, so that's kind of funny to me. But now it has come out that Bree Larson is uh, just doesn't like white guys very much, so she wouldn't let me allow me to interview... Just because I'm... Man, she doesn't like... It. She wouldn't care how great the interview would go. She wouldn't care if I was all for her agenda. She just wouldn't want any to be there. And it came out that Marvel is also... Marvel wants Captain Marvel to have this kind of problem. They want this. They want these talking points. Yeah, she... Uh, this movie is what everybody was saying it was. It has an agenda. It's not just to tell a story about a heroic person who happens to be a woman, like Wonder Woman. Or apparently the Alita Battle Angel movie. I'll probably watch that eventually just because it's a 2019 film. And I watched a lot of stinkers of 2018, but why not watch that one? Even because I'm, it doesn't look, the trailers don't make it look that good. But yeah, apparently Marvel uh, actually, had an actually had a talk down with her. And said that they wanted and she's apparently following their orders that, she, that once they want her to uh, have the thing be a feminist icon thing and hey more power to them if it works it works if, when it doesn't work and it ends up ha and if it happens like uh, 
Star Wars hat or Doctor Who or Star Trek or Ghostbusters, they'll turn and say, oh, everybody's just a racist, everyone's just a sexist. So, yeah, Marvel may be uh, wanting to join in on the woke broke thing, but they, or they could just be looking to see if it works because... People like Chris Evans and Mark Ruffalo get away with it all the time, being activists and uh, liberals and all that. Whoops. Come on, you piece of fucking shit. I hate this goddamn thing. Oh, the owl is off. That owl app is what I use to lighten the screen because looking at a bright screen hurts my eyes. But, uh, beside the point... Ruffalo and Evans are always being... PC and leftist crap online and Twitter and all the social medias and Ruffalo goes to rallies and everything but that doesn't hurt the Marvel films I think it's probably because what Brie does is attack a entire sex entire gender and a group based on how they were born Ruffalo and Evans attack people on their political views or on their religion. You know, things you can change. You can change your religion. If you uh, don't want to be a Christian, you can become a bisonist if you want. If you don't want to be a bisonist, you could uh, become, become, become Jewish or you become an atheist. You, a lot of people turn, a lot of people who are atheists were atheists were born uh, in religious families. And it, so. She's attacking people because they were born with a dick between their legs and they don't have that much, they don't have any pigment in their skins because they're white. So, like like I said earlier, you could be like the greatest movie, like if Ebert or Roper were still alive, she wouldn't want them to interview her for the movie. They'd have to just talk, probably to Samuel L. Jackson or something. But when now people are speculating that Nick Fury's going to be like a comical character in this thing, and how Captain Marvel's going to be the person that made him who he is. They do that, that'll be the... That'll get a lot of people pissed off. That'd be, that'd be like, uh... They turned out that Ray time travels with that uh, Void thing in Rebels, and she goes back, and she's the reason that, uh... She created Anakin and, uh... Shmi's stomach instead of Sidious. That would be, uh... I can actually see them doing that. That's the, like, really dumb out-the-window theory. I can see them doing that right now. I think the dumbest thing you can think of, and boom. And, and also, I'm pretty sure Jude Law is probably going to go villain, like the Doctor Who people, like on Doctor Who with uh, all the white guys either being stupid or straight ones. Or evil, I'm pretty sure that uh, Marvel will end up being some kind of villain or something, because they're already going to be using a uh, Miss Marvel, the Camilla Khan character, for the uh, second one. So they don't want to they don't want to address the male Captain Marvel. Well, I should say Shazam, haha. <laughs> but they Marvel had one called Marvel, who was the actual Kree, not a human turned Kree. And then you also have them uh, wanting to, uh, and then, wait, gotcha, sorry. The, uh, with him being the only white male character in there who, you know, has, besides uh, Clark Gregg, who, you know, he has to die because he's in, uh, he dies in Avengers. And then he has that weird Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. crap that I don't bother watching because first episode was just goddamn fucking boring. I couldn't even get through it. But the, uh... So he's dead in the movie universe. Because if he was alive and the movie, and the TV and the TV shows really were connected to the movies, as they claim, you think he would have been in it when S.H.I.E.L.D. fell. You think they would have talked to him or something. But nope. So, yeah. Marvel's definitely going to turn evil. Or be an idiot. Or something. Or hey, both. Why not? And 
She's and I can def, I can totally see her making uh, Fury and Coulson the way they were. Like they were goofball dumbasses until she came along and she showed them how to do it. It's like the uh, and I'm sure there are gonna be other male characters in the film who are gonna be dumbasses and uh, showing how to be real people by the her because you see on the trailer of her talking to that uh, her wing woman who a lot of people are speculating is supposed to be Rambo, you know, the real Captain Marvel, not this whitewashed version that they want to push out. I mean, I still think it's funny how these idiots, if it wasn't a woman, like, oh, let's let's go back and switch Monica Rambo and Carol Danvers to men. A black male character and a white male character with blonde hair, blue eyes. And they switched. They got rid of the black character and made him white. You know how many people be bitching about whitewashing? Because, hell, look at Ghost in the Shell. How many people bitch about the whitewashing of that film? When, if you look at anime, it's like The Last Airbender. To me, Aang looked like he could have been white to me. Asians have a little darker skin tone. Like, it could have been, they should have been, uh, a little more burn, like a mix, like an in between between Sokka and uh, what Ang looked like, but he's Asian, and it's like Full Moon Alchemist. They look Asi- they look white to me. They don't look Asian. Or what do you call it? Attack on Titan? They look white. Some of them even have blonde hair, but apparently they're Asian. Who knew? Well, I didn't. Obviously, I'm not a big anime person. Like the Naruto people. Naruto people look like they're white, but they're in China. They're in like a China advanced version of that. But they made a movie of those guys, and they casted Naruto, even though he's blonde hair, and Asian people don't usually have blonde hair, unless they're mixed, the ra- unless the races are mixed. The uh, They'd be bitching about whitewashing, even though that's what he looks like. So, with them not bitching about Monica Rambo not being Captain Marvel and it being Carol Danvers, yeah, there's definitely an agenda on that part. Also, you have to throw into the fact that... Crap. Scratch that. I'm just... I'm just spewing here. Oh. That, uh... I think they're already planning on replacing her because even Bree wants them to have a... Kamala Khan in there, the uh, Muslim girl who looks up to Captain Marvel, who people actually like better than her in the comic industry. So that's kind of funny. But the pilot, who is supposed to be Monica Rambo and Brie, that's what I was that's what I was talking about before I went on the tangent about whitewashing. She uh, says. Well, let's show these boys how it's done, and they tap their, they give themselves a fist. They fist each other. But that thing didn't get popular for like the thousands, but it's supposed to be in the 90s with uh, Blockbuster. They're kind of mis- mixing their time streams a little. And now people are talking about how, you know, don't, we're not going to go see Captain Marvel. I'm doing one better. I don't see any Marvel film. There are other ways to see movies nowadays, and yar, if you don't know how to sail the seven seas, then hey, I can't help you. I'm not going to help you. What you do with your internet is what you do with your internet. What I do with my internet is what I do with my internet. Make sure you have a good VPN. That's all I can say, and uh, a nice virus protector on your computer. I suggest Norton. Why? Because it comes with my internet. Are you going to see Captain Marvel? Uh... Do you like the Marvel films overall? I mean, I think this will probably be a symbol of quality going down for the series. If uh, the studio actually wants her to do the feminist agenda crap, I can totally see the quality of the films going down, 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 down. Worse than what I actually think. Because, like me, Infinity War. I watched it once, in full. I tried watching it on uh, Netflix, uh, like, four or five days in a row, or... And then multiple days afterwards, I was like, I could watch that. Nah, I'll watch something else. I could watch it. Nah, I'll watch something else. And then I actually did watch it finally. I got to uh, the ship part where they, uh, where 
Spider Boy and Iron Man are on the ship that abducted uh, Doctor Strange. I hit pause. I made a video about how much I hate Marvel. I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't watch. So, uh, yeah. So my reviews for those films are going to be a little fun. My Infinity War one actually ended up being a rant. Actually, the first video on this channel. Ah, oh, memories. Like the corner of my mind. Misty watercolor memories. Shut up! Okay. Well, uh, have a good one, and that's it.